My name's Dave Baxter and as a marine biologist and underwater cameraman in Australia, I've made it part of my life's work to understand the nature of sharks. But for most people, the movie Jaws was their first exposure to the great white shark that repeatedly attacked humans. While some of these rogue sharks are unstable due to age or injuries caused by man or machine, most are attracted to coasts where untreated sewage is dumped into the ocean. As sharks take advantage of the abundant food supply, they often mistake surfers, swimmers and divers for another sort of food. The good news is that since many countries have begun sewage treatment programs, incidences in rogue sharks terrorising a beach have gone down. To learn more about beachside predators, watch Shark Week only on Discovery Channel. I'm Dave Baxter, and as a marine biologist and underwater cameraman, I'm well aware that in the ocean I'm a visitor in a strange and wonderful place. Sharks have been the top predators in this underwater world for more than 400 million years. And over time, evolution has given them incredible abilities. Sharks have such a highly developed sense of smell, they can detect one molecule of blood in a million molecules of water. They can also sense the movement, like the flick of a finger, 600 metres away. These sleek, evolutionary contoured predators can be delicate too. One fishing sinker affixed to the side of a six-foot nurse shark's tail can knock it off balance and cause it to die. Learn more about these magnificent creatures on Shark Week only on Discovery Channel. I've been studying sharks and making films on them for more than 20 years, from California's Pacific Coast to the waters off Tasmania. My name's Dave Baxter, and since I've been filming the wonders of the sea, I've gained a healthy respect for sharks and their abilities, and I have a few teeth marks to prove it. And with teeth like these, it pays to know your subject. Through their work, photographers and researchers are developing ways to better study and coexist with sharks. The more we learn about these phenomenal creatures, the better we can find a way to preserve them and our ocean's ecosystem. Learn more about the underwater explorers and sharks on Shark Week, only on Discovery Channel. I'm Dave Baxter, and as a marine biologist, I'm constantly amazed at how many varied kinds of sharks swim the world's oceans. There are 380 shark species in all. Still, many people are surprised to learn that some sharks find their way into fresh water. Sharks often go up estuaries and freshwater streams to cleanse their body of toxins and parasites. The bull shark often enters rivers and lakes and has been reported as far as 2,500 miles up the Amazon River in Peru. To learn more about these varied creatures, watch Shark Week, only on Discovery Channel. Hello, I'm Dave Baxter, and in the years that I've been diving around dangerous marine animals, I've had to maintain a healthy respect for their dominance. And while I've had a few encounters with sharks over the years, most people don't know that only a very small percentage of shark attacks are fatal. Of the 50 or so reported shark attacks on humans each year worldwide, only about six result in deaths. Learn more about these undisputed rulers of the ocean's food chain on Shark Week, only on Discovery Channel.